Hey everyone, and welcome back to Story of Seasons. Uh, as you can see, we made it into winter of year three. I did a lot off screen so that we can get to some of the good stuff. So I've given Nadi all the required gifts and it is a non-festival day, it's a Sunday, and it's a sunny day. So we should have all the requirements to get the reverse proposal. So, and it looks like we did. Finally, after so long. Oh, babe, it's you. Perfect timing, we need to talk. What? I probably shouldn't be in a penguin suit for this. Probably should have prepared and changed into something more appropriate, but uh, that didn't happen. It's not something I can bring up here, though. Let's go somewhere else. Come with me. Okay. Babe, I'm sure you've noticed by now, but I'm not good at being all suave and saying the right thing. So I'm just gonna be blunt and tell you exactly how I feel, okay? I don't mind having you around, smiling your dopey smile at me all day. Honestly, I feel kinda lost if I go a day without it. So I decided I want to keep you with me, smiling that dumb smile forevermore. Babe, will you marry me? I want you to be a part of me, smiling like you always do, but wider than ever before. <laughs> I need more time. No, uh, we're doing this. Have this giant feather. I stole it from a bird. So, you said yes? I'm not just hearing things? Oh, thank goodness, I feel so much better now. I've been thinking about this proposal thing so much lately, it was starting to become like an obsession. You have no idea how glad I am that I met you. I decided to hang around in this town for a while, almost on a whim, but I can't tell you how glad I am to have made that choice now. I love you, babe. I hope we stay together forever. Hey, where's... Where's the makeout? We didn't even get to see it. Would they censor it? <laughs> okay, I don't see the need to trudge all over town telling everyone we're getting married, but we should at least tell Veronica. After all, it's not like either of us know how this town handles wedding ceremonies, right? There's supposed to be a handful of different plans to choose from. Let's get some details from Veronica. You got it. Let's go, sexy. Oh, I see. So the two of you will be getting married. What wonderful news. Congratulations, both of you. Thanks. So, uh... I hear this town has some different plans people can choose from for their wedding. Could you tell us more about them? Of course, I would be happy to explain. We have three separate wedding plans available. There's the simple plan, oh my gosh, the band, which costs 100,000 gold, and then there's a the slightly larger deluxe plan for 500,000 gold. Or you could choose our most extravagant option, the luxury plan, which will cost 1 million gold. Good God. More extravagant plans allow you to invite more guests and present you with more options for your wedding outfits and finery. In brief, as the names imply, the more expensive the plan, the grander your wedding ceremony will be. You may come to the guilds at any time during business hours and apply for the plan of your choosing. So once you've made your decision, please come to the guild counter during business hours and submit your application. Okay. I'm guessing you'll have more of a preference here than I do, so you pick. If you tell me to, I'm warning you right now, I'll go straight for the simple plan. That's just how I roll. This is going to be a once-in-a-lifetime memory, though. Especially for the blushing bride. So pick whichever one will make you happiest. I'll wait as long as it takes, so feel free to take your time and think it over. After all, this is our wedding. Just the fact that it's happening at all is enough to make me positively giddy. Cute. Okay. Well, we need to we need to do that, but the guild isn't open yet, so we're gonna have to wait until the guild is open, and then we will take care of that. So just give me a minute. Okay. Well, before we go pick out our wedding plan, I think I'm gonna change clothes so that I'm not, you know, wearing something inappropriate for that. So we're gonna wear this. This is what I made for the fashion show, if you guys remember. 
What? That's lame because it changed my hair. No. Also, I'm gonna wear this mask even though it doesn't match. Because it's awesome. Um, and I also wanted to mention that I finally got the slow time accessory combo. And to get that, you need to equip the Snow White Tri-Ring, which you can make using Silver and Moonstone. Uh, and then the Crimson Choker, which you can make with Gray Rabbit Fur Cloth and a Ruby. And then the Snow White Choker, which you can make using Gray Rabbit Fur Cloth Plus and Platinum. So I finally made all of those and uh, put them in my accessory slots. And it has slowed time, which has helped tremendously. And I highly recommend it. The only problem is now my stamina is not regenerating, which is kind of annoying. Um, but I don't feel like coming into the closet and changing my accessories all the time, so... Oh well. Okay, so we are at the guild, and we are going to pick our wedding plan. We're gonna do the luxury plan because I have a ton of money, so why not? And you can either do a western style where the girl is going to wear like a regular dress and the guy's going to wear a tux. Or you can do an eastern style where uh, you both wear kimonos. So I'm going to do that one. Yep. Uh, okay, so there's going to be gifts on the day of the ceremony to so make sure you have three stock slots and one bag slot available. Okay. And, okay, we're setting the ceremony for winter the 6th, which is in like three days. Holy crap. So, okay. <laughs> that was slightly anticlimactic, but the wedding is set, so it's gonna be on the 6th, which is only three days away, which is exciting. We've only been working towards this for like how freaking long in this game. Uh, we have one more thing that we need to do, which is buy the house upgrade and make it. But unfortunately, the carpenter shop isn't open today, so we're gonna have to do that tomorrow. But I think that pretty much debunks that myth where people thought that you couldn't do the wedding or have a wedding or get married or whatever until you had the second, like, until you had the biggest house upgrade. That's obviously not true because the wedding is scheduled and... Everything looks good. So, pretty much put that myth to rest. But we need to do that. We need to upgrade the house. So, we're going to be doing that tomorrow as soon as I can buy that blueprint. So, hang tight and we will do that. Okay, so the carpenter shop is finally open. So, we're going to buy the two-story house blueprint, which is, as you can see, kind of expensive. You do need a lot of uh, black lumber, black stone, and ore chalcum to build this. Thankfully, I am a hoarder and I have all of those things because I just kind of saved them. Which, I mean, some people sell their gems for money, but I just think that for me, I just like to save them because a lot of times you end up needing them later in the game for building materials. So, I've just been saving them, so luckily I don't have to worry about getting any materials to build this house. Okay, so we're gonna build this new house. Okay. Objects and room have been put away, so toolbox position has changed. Oh boy. Whatever. Okay, so, let's build this thing. Alright, we really don't need Gunther to tell us what to do here. I think we can handle it. Alright, so the house is built, and... Oh man, I'm gonna have to like put everything back. That's a pain in my behind. Oh my gosh. This se- like, perfect. Just throw all my shit over here. Good idea. Anyway, this house is now two stories, so you can go up here and there- Okay, I guess my- was my bed downstairs, too? Is this another bed? I'm confused. Anyway, there's other beds, and there's a whole bunch of space where you can put stuff. Um... Oh, and there's this cute little balcony, so I can just come out here and chill. Even though there's, like, no chairs. 
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to reorganize. Why are there two beds up there? Like, my... My bed is still here. Whatever. But, uh, anyway, so now our house is, like, gigantic, and that's pretty cool. So, yeah, we finally got the reverse proposal, which is pretty awesome. And we're gonna be getting married in, like, two days. So... Stay tuned for that. That will definitely be happening in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up to show support for this series. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.